Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing well. Good. We'll wait a couple more minutes. See if anybody else is going to hop in. I'm going to talk about websites today. So. Is it the, the one through command? Yes. Oh, good. I just need like all the help in the world. Good. <laughs> Is anyone in the classroom? No. <laughs> no. There's not a whole lot of people in the building in general. Well, I think it's because Norman schools um, decided to let like not the kids go to school today because of icy roads or something. Yeah, the roads are not bad at all. They're actually fine. No. No, okay. yeah, we're totally fine. I I live in uh, Southwest Oklahoma City, and I mean, I'm pretty much all main roads, but I didn't have any trouble at all today. Oh, that's good. That yesterday, driving by that bridge over there by, um, like, close to the office. Yeah. You know, when you're going, when you're heading out. Yeah. Um, yesterday, I went over that one, and it got really slippery, and my car actually followed the thread of, like, somebody else's tires on the, on the road. Oh, yeah. It was, it was kind of scary. I was like, oh, I did not don't break that. hard. Yeah. Okay. Just me and you. I invite anyone else, Kristen, Sonia. Okay, I guess we'll get started. I'm inviting everybody right now. Okay, well, we can wait a couple of minutes. What I'm going to talk about is probably going to take about half an hour. So um, we can kind of roll through all of that stuff. And then if there's anything else you need help with, good morning. Um, I can help you one-on-one um, -on -one since you're the only one here. Cool. Cool, thank you. All right, well, I invited everybody. You should be able to see them if they Okay. If they pop in. Let me get my website up. Oh, we should have it bookmarked. Let me know when you're ready. I'm trying to get to my website, but the only way that I can have ever been able to like get to it is through command. And that shouldn't be, I should be able to just like go to the URL. Mm -hmm. Okay, there it is. So have you already set up your website? So I tried to, um, like it looks like there's a picture in the back. It's like the landing page, the very first page. And it says, and I don't think I can share my screen with you. Just give me, um, can you give me the URL? I'll go ahead and type it in. We'll pull it up. Let me put it in here. Chat. On the chat. Thank you. 
Okay. Hi, Kristen. Hello. Good morning. Yeah, you've already done some stuff. That's good. Thank you. But um, I, I was trying to do like the, like, you know how, like, oh, I've seen on like YouTube videos where they can add certain things, like they can change the backgrounds, they can change, um, like the, you can add like little widgets to it. Okay, we'll just start from the top and I'll kind of walk you through how to set it up and then we'll add, we'll go through and um, talk about how to add some extra things. Okay. Okay, so once you've logged into command, um, we're gonna go over here and go to consumer. And that's where we are. And then we're gonna go to site and app settings. And that's gonna take us to the main general page. So the first thing, um, usually when I'm walking people through uh, how to um, set this up, I will walk them through this way. You can also do the Kelly guide, which is here, and it will walk you through step by step by step on how to, um, and by the time you're done with the Kelly guide, it'll have you like your website will be totally set up. So okay. Do it either um, way. <laughs> right when you said go to consumer, I go to consumer. I don't have anything on that where it says rows. Like there's no rows. And then. Yeah, you wouldn't have anything in here unless you had added landing pages. So we're going to go. Oh, okay. To, yeah, we're going to go to site and app settings right up here. App settings. Okay. So on the general tab, um, we've got agent site hero text and our agent site hero images. Um, that's basically, that means it's the first thing that people see. It's the biggest part of the first page of the website. That's called the hero text and hero image. So if we go over to my site, um, you'll see that ours is we move you forward and then Here's one of the hero images. Um, these will carousel. I've got four of them in there. So they'll just shift from one photo to the next. Um, most of these are KW images. Um, when I went through the Kelly guide, um, those were stock images. This one right here with the couch and the cat, um, I got from Pixabay. Pixabay is a really good resource for royalty free images. Um, you uh, you don't have to create an account. It's easier if you do that. Um, if you don't, you'll have to enter the little capture code every time you download an image. Um, but uh, we want backyard, some cool backyard photo with a porch, like this one. So say I wanted to put that on my web page. So I can go to free download. It's going to automatically select this resolution. That's totally fine. That will work. Um, you can sign in or not. If you don't, you'll have to check I'm not a robot and then download. Easy as that. So it's really hot in here. I'm going to take off my jacket. Oh, um, Google, going to Google for Google Images is a little sketchy because you don't know where those images are coming from and who, if anybody has a copyright to them. So Pixabay is a really good free resource. Um, iStock Photo and Shutterstock are both go also good resources, but you have to have a paid account for those. Um, so Pixabay- What about, what about with Canva? Canva, um, I mean, I, I guess if you have an account with them, you can download, I don't, I don't use Canva. So I'm not okay. sure about their stock images. Do they have stock images? I don't know. But this way you won't run into any copyright issues. 
So we're gonna go back over to the command page and say, I'm kind of tired of one of these, or I just want to add another one, we can upload the one I just downloaded, <clears throat> which is that guy right there. And there it is. So it will show up in that carousel um, eventually. So after we save everything, it'll start rotating through. So you can upload as many as you want in there. Um, front of the house, backyard, living room, kitchen, whatever you want to put in there. If you also, if you have um, images from homes that you've listed, you have the, the rights to those photographs. You can also use those. So if you have a, a, a really cool listing that's got some awesome um, living room or something, you could use one of those. Next, um, we've got the hero, app Hero Text. That's sort of the same thing. So you can put your team name in there, or you can say download my app or any of that stuff. And then if you'd like to um, add a virtual tour, say one of your listings has um, a, a virtual tour, you can add that in here. Um, I think we've got, we had one in there. I don't see it though. So we're gonna save changes there. It says it's, it can take up to 24 hours. It usually is pretty quick. Um, so the next tab is URLs. And this is where you choose your subdomain. So ours is wgre.kw.com. Uh, That's our team um, logo, team shortened um, acronym or whatever. Uh, you can put your first and last name. If you've got a team name, you can put that in there. Um, so once you figure out what you want that to be, you can put that in there and then it will search all of the subdomains within KW to make sure that it's not already taken. And then it will assign that one to you. You can go, uh, go back later and change that. Um, I would suggest deciding what it is that you want to use and sticking with it. That way um, you don't have to change your business cards and all that stuff. Um, your app URL should already be populated in there um, from KW. Uh, the next page is featured listings. I've been having a few issues with this one. Um, every time I go into it, it freezes on me. So yeah, it's still it's still frozen. So don't do that. <laughs> it's been doing that to me all week. And I'm not quite sure why. So that's probably a bug that they are working on fixing hopefully so this is where we were so when this starts working again you can add featured listings you can add up to 12 and those will show up on your website under your navigation under featured listings um, the next tab is theme so there are two color themes to choose from the red and the dark um, we have ours as the red which I don't really know what all changes with those. Um, you can pick one or the other. It's just some boxes and, and accent lines and things like that. So you can pick that and then update theme. And then the last tab over here is site pages. This is gonna show you all of the pages you've created um, for your website and the navigation around them. So when we go in and create a new page, which I'll do here in just a few minutes, um, those will show up in here when we go to add page. And then I can move these around if I wanna change the navigation of how our website works. So you move those around and that would move these, um, these things around here. 
Um, the Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter down here at the bottom, that's pulling from our marketing profile. Um, we want to make sure that this button up here is toggled on, use my information to brand my site. So that's gonna pull from your marketing profile and push to all of the command things. So if you don't have your marketing profile set up, um, I highly recommend doing that. Um, so you don't have to duplicate information when you put stuff in, it just pulls from your marketing profile. So let's go to, we are gonna go to agent site pages and we're gonna create a new site up here in the upper right hand corner. And we're gonna say on my agent site and create page. So this is gonna give us a default page where we can then go in, um, like Diana, you were talking about earlier and add widgets. So there are lots of different widgets we can add. Um, say I want this to be my team page. We already have one, but I'll go ahead and walk you through how that works. Um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go ahead and title this one, meet the team. Um, so I know later if I need to go back in and edit that, it's not just some big long string of characters, it's actually the page. Makes it easier to go back in and edit when you title that page. Um, I'm gonna add this team widget and all you have to do is click on it and drag it. And it's going to throw that in there. So I like the way that looks. I might wanna put my agent profile here on the top. Or if I think, well, eh, maybe not, I can click back on that and then move that around. Say I wanna move that underneath instead or move this one to the top. A little harder to do without a mouse. So there I've moved it to the bottom. Um, and if I like that, I can leave it. So we'll just leave that for now. There's lots of different things over here. Um, we can add a contact form. We can add a testimonials list, um, a capture form or a download my app um, widget there at the bottom that'll take them straight to whatever app um, store they have on their phone. We can add those as well. Um, if you want to type in, um, add some text or add in an image, we can drag and drop those over too. Um, once you've got it set to where you like it and everything is good, we'll go to configure widgets and that is where we can edit um, these widgets. So I saw on one of the, um, like somebody else's site that they had like a, like a mortgage calculator. That Do you know how that would be added? That that's probably something that you'll have to um, copy and paste from somebody else's website. Like it would have to be an iframe. Uh, like if you were going to add a YouTube video, you could do that and you could use the text box and then paste that iframe video link into there and then it would show that video. So it's going to have to be an iframe of some sort where it has everything contained in that link. So it's a little bit of HTML code because they okay. don't have that, that widget is not available to my knowledge. But I would need to add it like in a text box. Yes, that's what okay. I'm, I'm, that's my guess. I have not seen that, but that's what I'm guessing. Okay. So here in the, change the headline, say meet the team. Um, we are state. And then I'm going to select my team and then I'm going to add everybody in here. And then I probably will reorder. So Missy and Steve are here at the top. And save. 
And that's going to um, pull from their, uh, their marketing profiles. So as long as they have their, um, their stuff set up, it will pull their images and their information from, um, from command. So save and apply. And here's the agent profile widget. It's already been set up. Um, if I needed to change anything in there, I could, like adding her phone number. I should know what that is, but I don't. I hit save and apply. Not sure what that is at the bottom. And then once we're done, we'll hit save changes once it's done updating. Would you like to continue to cite an app settings to publish your page? Yes, I would. Okay, and then it's taken me back to my site pages. And then I'd go to add page. And then I would choose this meet the team that we created on December 16th, 2020. And once I do that, it will show up here. I'll add my title. I'll change this slug. You want to keep that pretty simple. Um, so if somebody were to go in there directly and type it in, um, it would say, you know, wgre.kw.com forward slash meet the team instead of meet dash the dash team dash WGRE blah, 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 blah. So keep it simple. Um, so if you were going to go to that page directly, it would be easy to do. The SEO description, I usually, um, let's see, this is kind of what I put in there. Um, you can say something about real estate. You can say something about your location. Um, do a little research on search engine optimization and how best to add that in there. That way, if somebody is going into Google and, and searching for a real estate team in the Oklahoma City Metro, um, yours is going to show up with those kinds of search terms. Um, so the original meet the team um, page that I made, I just, the slug I picked was team. So it would be wgre.kw.com forward slash team. And once you're done there, you would hit save and then it's gonna update and those updates will push to your website and you should see those pretty quickly. Um, if you're just now creating the website through command, um, it can take up to an hour or so. That's that's the general, um, that's what I've seen over the last couple of months. Um, it can be 15 minutes. It can be, sorry, do you guys keep losing my signal? No, I'm here. I can see it. Okay. So I think it's just losing it from the projector in the, in the room, which I guess is not necessary since I'm the only one in here. <laughs> Um, do you have any questions? Anything you'd like me to go over again or? No, no, not right now. Um, by any chance, can I have your email address just in case I do have questions that I could just email you? Yeah, put it in the chat. It is. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, there's also um, a guide builder up here. Um, on the app, there's a buyer's guide and a seller's guide. Um, you can go through those and actually edit um, the text and things around those. That's something that the Kelly guide will walk you through, but you can also get to that straight from here. So if you can move these steps around, you can add, like see in here in execute contract, we added Brooke's name. Um, so you can tailor that a little more to your team and make sure that it is correct. 
Okay. All right. Cool. All right, ma'am. Is there anything else you need, command or tech wise? Um, I can't think of it right now. Okay. I haven't had my coffee yet. <laughs> So, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll let you know if I do come up with something. I'm sure I will. I have tons of questions always. Okay. Feel free to email me. Thank you so much. All right. Bye.